as we walk the streets of Chinatown, I think I'm a little lost, but you can see like there's so many things out here. It's so busy. And the crazy thing is, it's like, oh, I just got cut by something. Okay. Luckily, it was just a sign. But as you move forward, this place gets busier and busier. I just want to see what the hype is about. But a lot of people said go further down and you'll see everything down there. And I said, okay, I'll check it out. So right now, we're walking down the streets of Chinatown. Um, let's see what else we can find. But look how busy it is. Like there's so much here. Um, oh, number one, Chinatown. If you guys don't know the pomegranate juice. Hello, sir. How are you? Can I get the, is this pomegranate? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I get one? How much is this small? 40? Can I get that one, please? Pomegranate juice in the morning has been like one of my biggest addictions. And for 40, it's really worth it. So there we go, 40. There we go. Here you go, sir. And they give you a cute little straw. I love it. You made this at home? Oh, you make it here. Oh, okay. I see it. Oh, he has it right here. That's awesome. All right. And let's try. Boom. Ah. Tastes disgusting. No, I'm just joking. It's really good. It's really good. You have a good day. Thank you so much. He actually makes it over here. So he buys the bottles and then can you make one? Can you make a pomegranate one? Oh, I don't think you can, but look at that. Like he has the juices here and it's always good to see um, what kind of juices they have, but they always make them here fresh. Orange juice, pomegranate, they use the bottle and they use this to make it. So it's always good to see it, but so far really good. Thank you so much. Really good. Yep. Mm. Fresh pomegranate juice. Eh? Everybody does make it here, so he's not the only one. Mm. It's so refreshing and good for your health. I'm a big addict to pomegranate and watermelon now. So, have you guys ever seen me drinking all this stuff? Probably the best thing you could ever do is say hi to me when I'm drinking this because I'm at my happiest moment. I'm telling you guys right now. Mm. As we walk forward, you see all these money exchange. You got street, you got gold, you have a lot of things and people are just waiting for the bus. But as you keep on going, you'll see all the street food and everybody just eating out here. Is that dim sum or soup? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's soup. Okay. Everything looks amazing over here. And you just keep on moving forward and finding more things out here in Chinatown. Big on fruit, uh, big on fruit over here. And as you see pomegranate, more juice. Hello, sir. And everybody's so kind and friendly. Ooh, peanuts. Wow. That smells really good. I saw that in, um, I saw that in, uh, the, the uh, where was I? I saw that in, oh my God, train of thought, Malaysia. And they have that, they roast the peanuts and then they give them to you nice and warm with a little bit of salt and oil. As we walk through, look at the traffic y'all. Holy crap, Chinatown in the morning is wild y'all. This is why people go at night, I go in the day so I can see what else goes on the day. But the day is very active over here. I'm actually very impressed, holy moly. Mm. And beautiful Chinatown. Look at all the antiques. You could buy the little lights and everything. Really nice. You see everybody coming out here and just buying everything. Um, I don't know what that is, but that looks really good. I just don't know if it's poured. I can't read the writing, so I'm gonna stay away from stuff I can't read because of the fact that I don't know if it's pork or beef. So uh, we'll see. Uh, I just like to know if it says beef or chicken on it. But look at how beautiful Chinatown is, y'all. Like, it's actually a good vibe. Like, you see food over here. I don't know what that is, but as I move forward, I'm gonna keep on looking and see what else I can find. But uh, wow, super active area. And I think it's you go further down. The, the traffic is insane and you see all these little shops and they're selling nuts they're selling um they're selling fruits they're i guess maybe um thailand is uh, really big on fruits so because i've noticed a lot of fruit places here and it's really big and they have i don't know what that is this is packaged what is that is that duck i think that's duck that might be duck i'm not sure there you go you got the roasted nuts as well. It's just sitting there. So, oh my God, they got seafood over seafood here. Check this out, y'all. Wow, unbelievable. Crab, fresh crab, oysters, oysters, oysters. Oh, that's fresh crab. They're making a uh, type of new, wow. Oh, we are so lost in the sauce right now. Once I find this kind of market, I'm super excited to check this out. Wow, so this turns into beautiful Chinatown. Welcome everybody. Now, let's get into the real 
good stuff here. This is a very active area. So I guess all the tourists know about this area. So we keep on walking, we'll find something to enjoy. But let me see, you got clear soup noodles, you got everything over here. So what else do we have? We have fruits and we're just gonna keep on walking down. But wow, very active area. So far got some juice. They got, holy moly, all these spices. There's actually spices in the stores. So this is where the locals come to buy spices. There's a lot of like selling ju jewelry. They have food. This market is super packed. Let's see if we can get some food as we walk straight ahead. Look at the sandals, everything. Wow, super active area. Let's see if I can find. I'm probably gonna be a little lost, but we'll try to find more stuff and see what else we can get ourselves into. I'm, gonna, I'm about to get lost. I'm actually gonna follow this gentleman right here because I know I'm gonna get lost. Let's see what they got here. So I want something like different. I need like maybe some, some good, something different. Let's see what we can find. Walk through, I see more shops. You got Sriracha fashion. You got a bunch of stuff you can buy. And the cool thing is there's flasks. There's everything goes over here. Um, you even have little carpets, but look how busy it is. My God. There's so many things you can buy here. It's just an endless amount of things you can buy in this street, which is awesome to see. Because I really need some stuff, but I haven't seen anything that caught my attention. And uh, I'm surprised I haven't wa found the watch guy yet. You know me and watches, so as we go through, gotta watch out. Look at the food is out there. This man is legit the goat. I don't know what that is, but that looks good. There we go. And we're just gonna keep on moving. I'm a little lost. So I guess I'll go this way maybe and see what else I can find over here. Oh man, that was great. I did see earlier some people that came up to me and they recognized me from Singapore and they were so kind to me. And uh, shouts out to the people that watch me, man. I love seeing my friends and my fans. Always awesome to see them as we walk through. You have a lot of luggage. There's a lot over here, ladies and gentlemen. So they have, it's such a small alleyway. It shocks me to see like these bikes in here. They have a lot of purses and people are, are, are active over here. Oh, I just felt AC, so here we go. See, I told you guys, fruit is really big over here. Cold fruit too. They put in ice, so you're getting the real cold, cold fruit. And as we walk through, we'll see what else we can find. They got earrings, rings, excuse me, I don't know why. Let's see. Wow, so many things over here. This guy is actually the delivery mail guy. So he's actually dropping out packages. So as we walk through, we're still gonna see if we can find something we can actually purchase. Uh, something that's, something I need. Um, definitely hard to find what I actually wanna buy because I have everything and I'm very blessed, but it's always good to see if we can help um, the community of Bangkok and buy something and see what else I can find. Let me just get through here, see what else. I can get my, oh my God, this is crazy. What do we got here? We got another alleyway filled with, yo, what is that? Excuse me, sir. This guy, what do we got there? I don't know what that is, but if I do octopus again, that's gonna be a problem. All right, we're gonna keep on walking through Chinatown streets and see what else we can find. Maybe there's something that I'll, I definitely wanna buy, um, but let's see, they, I mean, they got so many things here. They got lighters. I don't even know what that is. That is a phone cover maybe? So phone cases, wow, nice. You got wallets. Yo, I love Chinatown because this reminds me, back in San Francisco, my dad would take me to Chinatown in the Bay Area all the time. And we would, I would buy so many things as I was a kid for toys because they were so cheap. And so that's what I love about like my childhood memories as these all bring back memories, especially all the actual things you can buy. And there's a car right in the middle, holy moly. To buy things over here, it's, it's very active and it's very like, there's so many people out here. It's hard to get through with traffic. And every, there we go, almost made it. Every street corner has like food and then you also have to buy things. So I'm trying to buy like a, a certain thing that I want. Let me see if I can make a deal someone and purchase something because I really wanted like a cup, like a cold cup for my uh, my sister. So as you can see, there's like endless stuff, but I kind of see something I actually want and I haven't seen this in a while. 
So it's like you get a Dragon Ball Z chain, but so we got the Dragon Ball Z. These are, I don't know how much these are. I wonder if, oh, there's Frieza, there's Mario. This is a pretty cool keychain, so I'm trying to see what I can get. I wish I can get Vegeta, but I don't see a Vegeta here. I see uh, this one, I see Mario, I see the purple one. Where is Vegeta at? And this is why it's always good to buy something from here. Oh, there he is, Vegeta, I love it. I'm already happy I got one, boom, got this. How much is this? 20 25 or 20 oh, okay 20 okay so what do i buy do i buy over there or from you do i buy here do i pay you 20 just over there oh, okay okay hello yeah how much is this one only 125 20 yeah okay okay would you do 10 for this one would you do 10 10? 10. Yeah, yeah, 10. 10. Oh, you said it's 20, right? Oh, it's 20. Oh, okay. Okay, so we got for 20. Here you go. 20 right there. Perfect. Thank you. I got a little Vegeta, which I'm actually happy about. So, um, I guess this place, I mean, obviously, I, I don't really care for bargaining. I was just trying to see if they, they actually bargain here so they don't. So I think it's a final set price, but you know me, I'll always try to bargain regardless, 20 is nothing. So I'm very happy to get this. This is what I really wanted for uh, my keychain for my car that I don't have no more, but I'm giving this to my dad because he, he sees me watch Dragon Ball Z and he hates it because he's like, why are you a grown man watching cartoons? And I'm like, yo, don't hate on Dragon Ball Z. I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z. So if anybody wants one in the comment, it's only 20 bucks. So really cheap, extra cheap. So as we keep on walking through, there's this market is literally endless. Whatever you want, there's everything here. They even serve food while you walk around. That's crazy. So as we walk through safely and slowly, I mean, they literally bring food to you and there's markets everywhere. I mean, they have, they have food here, they have gifts here, they have everything you need come to Chinatown because you can't go wrong with Chinatown. I'm slowly learning that Chinatown is the place to buy everything for cheap. You can get a good deal um, in Chinatown. Look at that, that's so cool. You can buy one of those for your kids. Obviously, I don't have any, so I can't buy that, but keychains everywhere. So I collect uh, anything that I see Dragon Ball Z, I buy um, because I grew up on it. So it's always good to have like a collection of Dragon Ball Z items. So I'm happy that I bought it. So as we walk through, we see, I mean, look at how endless it is. I can get lost in this market for good. Like I would buy this whole store up because of the fact there's so many things I want. I'm just trying to avoid them because I don't have enough room in my luggage. So that's the scary part when you don't have room in your luggage at all. Like I'm literally running out of room. I might have to buy another luggage. They got a One Piece, The New World. They got shirts, they got special candy and chocolate. Wow, oh wait, that's a heck yeah. So you don't get these in the States, so I'm just looking to see if there's anything I can buy, because I love candy. And this is my problem. As soon as I find something that I want, I'm gonna go buy it, and that's the crazy part, especially something with candy, because I don't get, maybe I should stay the candy away. I had enough candy and chocolate. I mean, look at this. They got literally haagen ice cream. These will melt in my luggage, so I'm not sure if I should buy it. They got oatmeal, chocolate cake. They have fruits. They have dried fruits. I mean, look at that. They have all dried fruits. So I'm not sure which I should buy. I don't know what this is. I've never had this. I might try one time. Who knows? They look like eyeballs, but I don't know the ingredients, so. I wish I could read the ingredients, but I can't. So we're just gonna keep on moving just because the fact, I don't know if it has gelatin in it. So it's it's all in uh, the Asian writing. So I don't know. So I'm gonna keep on going. As we walk forward, I saw something that grabbed my attention. I think they're blankets. So I might actually grab one if I have room for one blanket, I think I can make it happen in my luggage. I just don't know which one to get. Maybe the Supreme one or the fake Chanel. I'm not really sure, see how much it is. But they have this, they have the Gucci, they have all this. I mean, I could probably make a deal with this. 
I mean, these are really nice. The Dior, really nice. Gucci, really nice. I mean, they have a lot. See how much the blankets are. Wow, so actually really nice. I actually want one. Let me see if I can make a deal with them. I don't know how much the Gucci is, but I definitely want either the Louis V or the, the Gucci looks really nice. Or I don't know, that's Coach. Yeah, the Gucci. Let's see what they can do. I'll see, see how much it is. I've never seen the Christian Dior. Oh, I like the Supreme. I'll probably get the Supreme. That's why. Excuse me, sir. How much is that right there? One, two, three hundred fifty. Two hundred. One bit. Two hundred fifty. Two fifty. Yeah. Okay. And then what about those? Same thing. Two hundred. Two fifty. Would you make me a deal for two? How much would you make me? That one and that one. Let me see which one I want. 500, I'll probably do, honestly? Okay, so four, oh my God, this is so cute for my niece. I would definitely get that. But I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get her something even fancier. So 250, let me see if I can get this for a lot cheaper. I'm gonna try to see if I can shoot for, uh, for um, I wonder if I can get it for 300. I got the Gucci one and the blanket. I don't know if I have room for that, but I definitely want the Supreme. Supreme, I'll do, um, let's do, I don't know. Let's see if I can buy it for a better deal. And that's why, let's see if he makes a deal for me. Let me see what kind of deal I can make for the Supreme. So he wants 250 and 250, so that's 500. If he wants to do it for 300, we can probably do it for 300. That's what I would do. But let me wait till he's done with his customer and see how much he can get it for. So you wanna make me a deal for, let me see that one. Would you do that one for 150? One of those, 150? 200? So Louis won that. If I want, I don't. I don't think I have room for that one. Would you do just one for 150? Not 150? Come on, Habibi. All right. So what's the lowest you'll go for that one? 200? How about 175? Come on, brother. Uh, you got to make me a deal. So you said 200 for that? Okay, 200, or should I take the blanket? I have to see that one. So 250 down to 200. Okay, we'll do 200. Okay, 200 for one of those? 200? 200 for this one. I don't know which one I like. So which one's this one? This one is Christian Dior. We got Gucci. So we got Dior, we got Louis. I'd probably do the uh, Louis V Black. What's this one? This one looks nice. What is this? I'm not sure. Okay, so we got it for 200. I'm okay with that. Okay, 200 for Gucci or Dior? I don't know which one to get. <laughs> okay, let's do uh, this one. 200? 250. No, he said 200. No, he said 200. He said 200. You said 200, right? Hello. Okay, yeah, 200. One bit. One bit. One bit. 250. Hello. Three bit. No, I don't want two pair. I just I just want one for two hundred. Would you do that for two hundred? You said two. Oh, that's what you, three pair. Okay. No, I just wanted. Yeah, I just wanted that one. So you guys want it for two fifty? You won't do it for two hundred? Oh, I wanted one for two hundred. I thought he said two hundred. Sorry, that's my fault. Okay. Um, that's fine. Okay. 250. That's fine. I'm not. I'm not even gonna. I, I want one of. The, I wanted it, so I don't really care. It's okay. 250 is well worth it. Let's see if I have the 250. I hope I do. We got two right there. Three. There we go. Awesome. I didn't know if I had it, but I'm actually happy I got it for 250. There's 300 right there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So as they, as they buy it, they're gonna write a receipt for me and then I get, uh, I think there's like a, oh, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Um, so we finally bought the last thing. So got that for 250, really good deal. Now we're off to the next. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, everybody's super friendly. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chinatown. It's always good to see this. Um, I am very happy I finally got something. This is just for me but no one's gonna know it's fake because I'm gonna leave it in my room and not rock it anywhere else. But you know, people can tell with the fake and the real. But I want you guys to know that Wally's journey, uh, Chinatown, really good time. And uh, 
I didn't get to really bargain, but I'm okay with it. Um, I bought everything for a good deal. And when you come to Chinatown, you get a really good deal. So come in the daytime, because I know at night it gets wild. Um, so come in the day, while he's journey. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, over and out, everybody. And tomorrow is never promised, so enjoy your life. Um, I believe 250 is less than literally $7, if you guys ask. I have to look at my calculator. Let me see what I got this for, just to check. So 250, you're looking at, let's see, 250. I always check, a, so if you don't have a converting calculator, um, make sure you get one. Um, so I always like to bargain, but if I can't, so I paid $7 for this. And that is awesome material. Like it really feels good. And it had a bunch, so $7. So while he's journey, over and out, tomorrow's never promised. Enjoy your life, Chinatown. This was amazing. I love Chinatown. I'm gonna come here often, so. The food's amazing, everybody's so friendly. And uh, they don't haggle here, so I respect that. They gotta make their money too, so I'm not even gonna hate on that. But you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys soon, inshallah. Tomorrow is never promised, so enjoy your life and buy as much as you can. You guys have a good day.